Want to see your school on High School Quiz Show Rhode Island next season? Visit ripbs.org for details. And to stay up to date this season, follow us on social media. Seems we are missing a lot these days. But we are Rhode Islanders. We are strong. And through this time, we found new opportunities to connect in different and meaningful ways. My name is David Picciarelli, president of Rhode Island PBS. I have seen some remarkable achievements over the past three months, not the least of which is how students across our state have risen to the occasion to excel in distance learning and at-home schooling. To our graduating seniors, you may feel hardest hit, missing the final glory days of proms and award ceremonies and commencement itself. But we are here to tell you, there's so much still ahead for you. We are proud of what you've done and confident you will accomplish great things. This special you are about to see celebrates the best of you in your year 2020. From all of us here at Rhode Island PBS, congratulations and best wishes for a bright future. Class of 2020, this is your year. Stop so gonna get on the ride Twisting and turning through life No matter how rough it gets I'll get by Home moves with me where I roam It's in every dream I make my own I'm never alone I know that every day will always bring me something new. Good evening, Rhode Island High School seniors. Tonight we celebrate you and all that you've accomplished. You did it! Class of 2020, this is your year. Coming up, Rhode Island natives Billy Gilman, Viola Davis, as well as Seth MacFarlane, and many other celebrities will applaud you and your incredible achievements. But the real stars tonight are all of you. Some of your classmates will raise their voice in our song competition, but only one will win. Stay tuned. We'll showcase some of your best moments from the past year. And hear from many of your valedictorians. Alexa, play graduation. So take that well-deserved bow. The party starts now. I know that every day will always bring me something new. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled when I get wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Hey everybody, it's Erica Van Pelt from American Idol season 11. I'm just uh, stopping by to say congratulations to our class of 2020. Um, we know you guys are dealing with a lot of stuff right now, um, but you know we're all gonna get through this together and uh, I'm sure you're crushing it. Um, so uh, thanks to all the folks at RIPBS for having me and uh, letting me be a part of this event. Um, and I sincerely wish you all the very, very best. Please stay safe and stay healthy and love each other. And uh, we'll see you soon. Hello everybody and thank you for having me in this virtual celebration of our students. I wanna recognize our superintendents, principals, teachers, and all of the guests that are here with us today. I want to start by congratulating all of the students. Congratulations. You've all finished a huge part of your life, and unfortunately, you've done it under extremely challenging circumstances. So you deserve special recognition for that. 
I know this is probably not the senior year you thought you'd have. I know you miss seeing your friends at school, and it was probably disappointing that you couldn't play the sports you loved or take part in your favorite activities or have a senior prom the way you had hoped to. And probably this isn't the graduation you were hoping to have. I wish it could have been different and you could have experienced high school graduation in a traditional way. But this is special and so are you. And we are so proud of you. High school can be hard even when things are normal. And this year, you guys faced challenges that nobody's ever had to face. I know there were times when it was hard not to go to a regular classroom, and everything was homework, but you did it. You did it. You amazed us with how well you did, how creative you were, and how determined you were, and all that you've accomplished in these last few months. I also know your classes weren't the only thing that changed during this crisis. You know, we're all feeling it. We're all feeling the impact of the coronavirus in our days, in our lives every day. It's additional stress, it's additional isolation, but you've kept me going. Every day you inspired me by stories of how you came together to support one another. You've inspired me, and I wanted you to know that. Never forget that this will be one of the biggest accomplishments of your life. Your ability to take this on has prepared you for any other challenges that life will bring. I am confident you're going to be the leaders that we need in the years to come. I also want to give a huge thank you to the teachers who helped get the students there today. I know that so many of you were trying to do your job while also helping your own kids at home with distance learning. That was far from easy. But just like your students, you did it. You made it happen. You got these kids across the finish line. So I hope you all keep in touch. You'll all always have this experience in common. And that means you can continue to be there for each other as you take your next steps. Maybe your future feels a little uncertain right now. But I am totally confident that you have what it takes to be successful. Do what you did to get through this semester. Help each other, work hard, and be determined. Congratulations, guys. You're off to a great start, and I can't wait to see what you do next. And now, a special message from the multi-talented Oscar-winning actress and Central Falls native, Viola Davis. Hi, Rhode Island. Um, you know, you're still a place I call home. As much as my career has taken me to New York, California, um, Rhode Island is where most of my memories were formed. Rhode Island is me. And um, I'm hunkering down just like the rest of you. I'm feeling very anxious, very anxious about what's going on. Not only because we are going into a place of a new normal, a place of change, and you know, people, we don't like change. Change comes with a lot of anxiety and chaos, but also because of the suffering that's out there. You know, as an empath, I, I feel the suffering of others, people who have lost their lives, people who have lost their livelihoods, people who are going without food and shelter, and the gross inequity that is happening out there. You know, I remember that there was a time that I went to a party and I talked to a man. He was a life strategist. And I remember I was very, very tired for long, from the long hours working on set of How to Get Away with Murder. And, um, I said, why is it just not as fulfilling to be on the top all the time? I feel tired, I feel disillusioned, um, I'm away from my family a lot, even though I live 15 minutes from home, um, and I'm at the top of my game, I've, I've, I've hit the jackpot. Pot. And he said, well, I've talked to a lot of people in your position, Viola, because um, 
We all want it. We all work for that big S and that success. And as soon as we hit it, we think, okay, this is going to be it. And we forget that that's not the top. The top of where we really want to hit is significance. Listen, as much as what is going on in the world can give us a sense of hope, hopelessness and can be discouraging, what it also is is an opportunity to live a life of vision and hope and to do something that just moves mankind a little bit further. Because you know what? There is no U-Haul in the back of a hearse. And at the end of the day, it is what we give to humanity that becomes our legacy. And there's so many people who are waiting for you and only you to ship the world. Because I compare life to a relay race. It's a dash. And it's your job to run your leg of the race. You know, it's always made up of the greatest runners and they run like heck. And they pass a baton to the next greatest runner. So you just have to figure out in this time of hunkering down, this time of anxiety, what's your race? What's your dash? What's your baton that you're gonna pass? It doesn't have to be big. You know, they say that the only difference between a hero and just the irregular man is the hero just stays five minutes longer. So you pass a baton, whatever that is. You do what is at your hand to do. Because what the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls the butterfly. So this is your chance for growth, for change, to live a life of mortality. Because you know what? I always say that when the last person who has a memory of me and what I've meant to their lives, when that person dies, I'll die. So you know what that means? That means I'm gonna be immortal. <laughs> but know that I'm in California and I'm always thinking of you. I'm always praying for you when I'm, you're in my prayers every single day and I am a praying woman. And um, I wish you the best in this time. It's so, so important. What is going on in the world? because you see where the deficit is and they're making a space for you to shift it. I love you. Mwah. Our first finalists in tonight's competition are raising their mics in celebration and sending a lot of love to their fellow classmates. Haley Gasparro and Dan Gagan from Barrington High School performing I Will Always Love You. I'll be frank, class of 2020, it sucks that we had senior year taken away from us, but I think it is more important to focus on the many years that we spent together instead of the coronavirus. 
It seems like just yesterday, we were chubby little children in elementary school reading Magic Treehouse books, or middle school students learning how to keep it, change it, flip it. Now look where we are. When I picture you, class of 2020, I see future engineers, doctors, lawyers, passionate and successful leaders. If I've learned anything, it's that your grades and your GPA are not the most important thing about you. Yes, you should be proud of all of your academic achievements and for meeting the standards necessary to graduate. That in itself is extremely impressive. But know that your academic achievements are not the most important thing about you. What truly matters are the skills you've acquired and how you choose to use your talents to make a difference in your community. Walt Disney once said that it's kind of fun to do the impossible. I can't wait to see each and every one of you do the impossible and change this world. Throughout our lives, as we meet others who are members of the class of 2020, we will instantly have a bond with them as well. History tells us that other classes before us have endured similar pain that we're going through. Seniors in 1941 who volunteered to fight in World War II or in the Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor, or more recently, New Orleans seniors in 2005, whose whole year was disrupted after Hurricane Katrina. We may not be able to change the past or the current situation, but I know that the class of 2020 will change the world. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on all the hard work that you've done to earn your diploma and prepare for this next life's journey. I know you've heard this multiple times and from multiple people, but you're gonna hear it again from me. I am so disappointed that you have missed out on so many of the highlights of your senior year, from prom, final sports season, to the last school play, and even all the rituals that we don't always approve of. You know what I'm talking about. Your final semester has been one for the history books though. And I will never forget how much you lost out due to the real world realities that are affecting us all. The truth is that there's a lesson for us all in what we are enduring right now. You have been told since the, the very first moment you walked into kindergarten, where we have been preparing you for this day to share, to be kind, to take turns, to listen, to be, to participate. All of us, from the youngest to the oldest, even the Commissioner of Education and the Governor are getting a crash course in all of this. Your final lesson in high school could not be more helpful for your long-term success. We all need each other. We have to take care of our community if we're going to take care of ourselves. Many decades ago, a generation of Americans went off to defend our country in World War II. They were called the greatest generation, not for just serving our country, but for doing what they did afterwards to rebuild our nation together. You have the chance to be the next greatest generation. You have unlimited opportunity to dedicate your lives to making our world a safer, a better and kinder place. Look around you today and you can find all the inspiration you need. Actually, you are that inspiration. I admire you. You have persevered over the last few months to complete your studies under difficult circumstances. 
stuck in your homes, learning through the computer, and disconnected from your friends. But you stayed the course and you earned your diploma. All of you deserve our admiration. Como decimos en español, adelante, as we say in Spanish, onward. You are the class of 2020, entering a new phase in your life as you journey to an entire new world. I look forward to following your progress in the coming years and have faith and confidence that you will make our community, our state, our nation, a better place for us all. Once again, congratulations, and we are extremely proud of you. Onward. Still to come, Meredith Vieira, Seth McParlin, members of the New England Patriots, and Billy Gilman. Hey everyone, it's Meredith Fierro saying congratulations from a fellow Rhode Islander. You did it, and you did it in the midst of a lot of adversity, but also resilience. This was a crash course in life that none of you asked for, but if there is a silver lining, it's that tough times don't last forever, but tough people do. So hang tough, let your family and friends know how much you love them and appreciate them. Take care of this beautiful world of ours. And most importantly today, Pat yourselves on the back because boy, do you deserve it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. For our second song competition finalists, we have a tie. First up, Sophia Ross from Portsmouth High School with her performance of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And then three young men from East Greenwich High School and the Wheeler School performing Let It Be. lives have been one of the most entertaining obstacle courses I have ever seen. Starting with 9-11, coming to a checkpoint this year with the pandemic, and who knows what more is in store for us. Only God knows what he is preparing our class for, but whatever it is, I am beyond thankful that I got to go through these imperfect years with you guys. So on that note, Alexa, play graduation. I see you driving around town with the girl I love, and I'm like, forget you. The thing is, I can't. I'm never going to be able to forget the East Greenwich High School class of 2020. We've been through so much, including this pandemic sliding in to rob us of a senior year. We've certainly known our fair share of adversity. But as we go on, I hope we persevere, using our interests and passions to ultimately make a lasting difference in the world. Although we may not be able to control the outside world, we do have the power 
to control how we react to it. With our positive attitudes and personal insights, take pride in the fact that we, as future leaders, can guide everyone to see the light that there is a hope for the betterment of our future. It saddens me to think that our last physical day at Rogers High School was on some random Friday afternoon. We were all excited to suddenly have a week off of school, but had no idea that this week off would instead turn to two weeks, a month, and then the rest of the year. The last golden moments of high school were abruptly ripped away from us and, unfortunately, we'll never get to experience them. But while the pandemic may have taken away the last few months of our high school career, it did not take away the memories we already have. Now, after having spent three years as a part of this community, I can say with utmost confidence that there is no place I would have rather spent my high school career. We are the class of 2020. We are Vikings. Hi, I'm Nick Mattiello, the Rhode Island Speaker of the House. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You've worked hard, you've had some fun, you've made friends, and now you're graduating. I know this is not what you expected for a graduation. You expected to be in caps and gowns and you're in masks and gloves or you're viewing this remotely. But it's been a great experience. You've learned the value of education and you're gonna embark on the next version of, of whatever life brings you. I wish you all good luck. Please continue to learn, continue to educate yourself, continue to work hard, have a wonderful life. Congratulations. Hey there, Rhode Island class of 2020. Seth McFarland here uh, with a special message for you on this day. This was uh, a request from your governor, so I'm going to keep a lot of the bathroom humor and uh, genitalia jokes to myself. I'm not going to include those today. Uh, and I think that's, that's best. This is a, this is a special occasion. Um, I am the creator of Family Guy, Ted, and some other stuff, which uh, escapes me at the moment. Uh, but I've always had a special fondness for Rhode Island. And not just because I set Family Guy there, uh, but because it's made me a lot of money. Um, now, <clears throat> I know this isn't the end of senior year that you wanted. Uh, you didn't get the fun of going to school or hanging out or going to the senior prom or all that stuff or partying all night. You spent a lot of time over the last couple months at home alone in your room. Uh, and in that sense, uh, your senior year was, was a lot like my senior year. Uh, there was no pandemic then, I just didn't leave my room. So I don't really have a lot of sympathy for you on that front. Um, but listen, it's not a fun time. However, I think it helps to remember that you're not the first group of people in their 20s to live through a world crisis. Uh, my grandfather fought in the Second World War. And the thing is, all the young people who had to fight in wars and live through plagues and depressions were also the ones who fought to make our future better. And I know there's a lot of people listening to me right now who will do the same. Um, you're going out into a world that requires you to be more thoughtful than you ever thought you would have to be. Uh, maybe this will motivate you to take a career path as a biologist or a chemist or a physician and become one of the people that we're relying on right now to move the human enterprise of science forward in a big way and uh, <laughs> get us out of this mess. Um, and for the rest of you who don't pursue those career paths, um, like me, uh, I, I encourage you to listen to those who do. 
Uh, even if you've decided to become a lawyer or an actor or an athlete or president, uh, you are up to the challenge. You have to be because it is your world now. And I wanna wish you all the best of luck from the bottom of my heart and uh, try to have fun out there. Sophia Ledoux, Miss Rhode Island Teen USA, U.S. Olympic swimming medalist Elizabeth Beisel, the Pats and Sox manager are all coming up. We're also getting closer to announcing the winner of your song competition. But now, here is Billy Gilman. Hey fellow Rhode Islanders, Billy Gilman here. I'm so honored that uh, I was asked to be a part of this amazing ceremony. And to all of the Rhode Island seniors, I know that this is the ideal situation, but I think it's such an awesome way uh, in these given times to say congratulations on all your achievements. Uh, you're a senior, that's it. And now you go forward with whatever path you, you choose. And I'm so honored to say congratulations and how you've soldiered through this and persevered through this. You're showing the younger generations that anything is possible, uh, probably without even knowing that you did. So congratulations academically, but also on a humanity level. Thank you for, for sticking to the guidelines and, 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 and showing that we can do this, you know? So I thought I'd sing a little song. It's my latest single, aptly titled Soldier. And we've been soldiers through all this, right? So congratulations again, and thanks so much for allowing me to be here. Class of 2020. I know this isn't the way you wanted to end your senior year, but let's think of it as the beginning. You're all off about to start something amazing, whether it be starting college, learning a trade, or entering the workforce. 
Continue to inspire us with your strength and ability to keep going when times seem tough. But whatever you do, never give up on your dreams. From Tollgate High School, our fourth and final song in your 2020 graduation competition is Anya Vellucci with her rendition of Us. Sometimes I'm beaten, sometimes I'm broke. Sometimes this is nothing but smoke. Is there a secret? Is there a code? Can we make it better? Cause I'm losing hope. Hi, I'm Dominic Ruggiero, the president of the Rhode Island Senate. Your senior year was like no other, but that in no way diminishes your outstanding accomplishment, nor should it diminish the excitement with which to look forward to the next chapter in your life. You should be very proud. Congratulations. Whatever your future plans are, the advice I would offer is that those who succeed in life are not necessarily the smartest or most talented. They're the people who persevere through hard times. Everybody fails sometimes. The people who succeed are those who pick themselves up, learn from their mistakes, and refuse to be deterred as they pursue their dreams. I wish you all the best as you embark on an exciting new chapter in your lives. Congratulations. Although this is not the graduation ceremony which we have been envisioning for the last four years, its significance has not been diminished. As the members of this graduating class continue to grow into productive members of society, to learn the difficult lessons which life has to offer, and to pave our paths in the world, I can say with the utmost certainty that we shall carry with us the invaluable memories and experiences we gained as students at Johnson Senior High School. Our teachers taught us everything we need to know when going into the real world. Our advisors gave us some of the funniest moments I could ever think of. Our artists and residents gave us the tools to embrace our creativity and unlock our untapped potential. Our admin team helped us when we had non-academic problems and got us ready to go to college. And on behalf of the TAPA class of 2020, we thank you for all that you've done for us. But I'm happy to say to all my peers and everybody in the TAPA community, we made it. Rupi Carr wrote, for you to see beauty here does not mean there is beauty in me. It means there is beauty rooted so deep within you, you can't help but see it everywhere. I cannot help but see the beauty here, today. In the midst of a global pandemic, where our lives have been uprooted and our routines have been altered, here there is beauty. There is beauty in our dreams, in our accomplishments, in our friendships, and in our successes. We have been given incredible opportunities here in North Smithfield, and it is finally time to use all that we have been gifted. Regardless of where you end up, regardless of your position in society, regardless of your political affiliations, empathy is something that all of us can use to change the lives of those around us. Everyone in this audience has the potential to make a positive impact on the world. Class of 2020, your future begins today. Lift me up in your branches. We can watch the sun. Hey everyone, this is Jarrett Stidham, quarterback for the New England Patriots. I uh, just wanna give a huge, huge shout out to the Rhode Island class of 2020. Uh, this is a huge milestone in your lives and uh, 
as a, as a Rhode Island resident myself, uh, my wife and I are both very excited to see what you guys accomplish uh, in the future moving forward. I uh, just want to encourage you guys to always uh, work, work hard, uh, dream big, and, and always be true to who you are. Uh, just want to wish you guys luck moving forward in your future endeavors, whatever those may be, and just know that everybody up here at the Patriots is really cheering you guys on. Congrats, guys. Class of 2020, Julian Edelman here. I just wanted to congratulate you guys on getting through. Uh, I know right now these days are, are, are a little different and, and there's a lot of adjustment going on with the situation that we're in. But uh, I feel that if we all stick together, we're gonna come out this of this whole thing stronger. So congratulations. I look forward to seeing one or, or many of you guys in some sort of headline in the future. Congratulations, guys. Hi, I'm James Wiley of the New England Patriots. And I just want to say congratulations to the Rhode Island class of 2020. May not be the graduation you anticipated, but it's still a very special moment in your life. I hope you all accomplish all your hopes and dreams. Congratulations once again. Have you picked a winner? It's a tough decision, but we're almost there. Like your fellow students who are competing in the song competition, your valedictorians really came through for you. More of their speeches coming up. But first, a shout out from the Boston Red Sox manager, Ron Renneke. Hi, this is Ron Renneke. On behalf of the Boston Red Sox, we'd like to congratulate the class of 2020. It's been a tough few months on everyone. And you seniors, we know you've had to miss a lot. You've had to make a lot of adjustments, but you've continued to work hard and to graduate. We wish you a lot of success in your next adventures and be proud of your accomplishments. You've earned it. Hello to the graduating class of 2020. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Beisel and I'm an Olympic swimmer from Rhode Island and I am here today to congratulate each and every one of you on graduating high school. It is such an amazing accomplishment and I know this isn't exactly how you pictured it happening in your mind, but all of your futures are nothing but bright. And I want you guys to remember that if we can get through a time like this and through all of this adversity, we can do anything. And I hope you guys follow all of your dreams you stay healthy, you keep working hard, doing the right things, and I really cannot wait to see where you all end up in the future. Congratulations again, class of 2020. Have an amazing day celebrating. Hello Providence, this is Luz Capaldi, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the class of 2020. Congratulations on being the class of something. Um, 2020, it's a weird year, but it's your year. Goodbye. The term high school doesn't just refer to campus or to grades or to sports or teachers. The term high school encompasses our years growing as adults, everything that we have experienced in addition to our education. Now we graduate. We got ourselves here through high school, however convoluted it seems, and we are making history. That should excite you, or at the very least, intrigue you. And if it doesn't, only you can change your thoughts. Go out and make the world your own. Look at how our nation is today, how our world is today. Change it. Make it better. Fight for justice and equity. Listen to the voices of others. But no matter what you do, always do your best at it and do it with a smile. Every one of you listening today has a voice. A voice that matters. So I urge and charge every one of you to use that voice to make the world a place that we, the class of 2020, can be proud of and stand behind. Live the story you want to tell. If you know me, you know I love sharing stories, but my story is not the only one that should be heard. So tell your story, whether it be today, tomorrow, or to your grandkids 50 years from now. Whether it's shared amongst a small group of people over a cup of coffee, or chanted from the rooftops for everyone to hear, everyone's story deserves to be told. And I thank you not only listening to mine today, but I thank each and every one of you for playing such a huge part in my story these past four years. On days like today, where we all wish we were sitting beside one another, draped in orange and black gowns, sweating under the bright lights of the vets, we remember that we stand united six feet apart. For four years, we watched each other grow and change. Now armed with the lessons we learned at home, in the classroom, on the field and on the stage, 
Be ready to tackle the next obstacle and pursue our dreams. You see, life at times can be difficult. It can be harsh. And oftentimes it will take the completely unexpected and morph it into our new version of reality. It is unpredictable, unbalanced, and rarely, if ever, goes exactly as we plan. Oftentimes it's beyond our control. But we're not hopeless in this situation because in a life full of so many uncertainties, there's one thing we can always control, our attitude. Now, I can make this your prototypical valedictory address and tell you that life is a roller coaster, and as long as you dream, everything will go your way. But that's not realistic. In class of 2020, in a world full of so much dishonesty, I do not endeavor to lie to you. But as we leave high school, each of us will go on to embark on a completely new journey. And as we work hard soul to achieve it, we will find that the journey will at times suck. It will be harsh. It will take our unexpected and turn it into our new version of reality. Class of 2020, please do not run from it. Embrace it head on. Remember that a rainy day never stops us from going outside the next morning. If anything, it makes us cherish the sun all the more so. Cherish the life you've been given and the opportunities in front of you, no matter what they may be. You know where you've been. The question now, where are you going? And now, drum roll please. The winners of your 2020 Raise Your Mic Graduation Song Competition are Haley Gasparro and Dan Gagan with their encore performance of I Will Always Love You. Congratulations, Haley and Dan.
Well, all good things must come to an end. But wait, maybe not. The celebration continues right here on Rhode Island PBS with the after party, United for Grads, a virtual concert for Rhode Island's class of 2020 featuring Rhode Island's own deer tick. We leave you tonight with over 50 performers from across the state to salute you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I know that every day will always bring me something new.
remember that Sunday Yeah, I think I was fine And a voice deep within me Told me it was time Oh, oh, I'm with you Oh, oh, I get you No, no matter what you do What you're going through Oh, oh, I'm with you Oh, oh, I get you No, no matter what you do What you're going through Oh, oh, oh I'm with you Oh, oh, I get you No, no matter what you do No matter, no matter what you do, no matter, no matter you do. I am here for you I am here for you Want to see your school on High School Quiz Show Rhode Island next season? Visit ripbs.org for details. And to stay up to date this season,